We are living in a time of rapid change and significant upheaval. The good things we have, democracy, the rule of law, a strong Europe and a strong transatlantic link, they're not there just as a given. We have to fight for them to stay there. So it's a transatlantic summit which brings leaders from both sides of the Atlantic onto the Harvard campus to discuss today's challenges that we are facing in our world. There are topics such as security politics, foreign policy, energy stability, supply chain stability, public health or technology which is developing on a rapid pace. And the idea and the mission of the conference is to strengthen the transatlantic partnership and really foster cross-generational learning by bringing today's leaders together with the young generation of aspiring leaders. This year, the conference motto reflects the urgency of our current moment in history. If not now, when? These problems cannot be addressed effectively by any one nation alone. I felt the spirit in the room, the whole organization team, um, the audience, the speakers, it was great. It was inspiring. It was there was a lot of energy and creative thinking in the room. We came here to be inspired and to see the leaders of tomorrow's world. After the last two years being virtual, um, forced to be virtual, being back in person, having all the people come together and feeling the energy is just incredible. My name is Lucy Kruske. Alicia. It's Colin. Anna Schaefer. Priscilla Bonzo. Jordan Freeman. Jasmine. Isabel. Maria. Robin Lutjohan. Sophomore student at the University of Applied Science at Rheinbaum. The University of Cologne. Harvard College. Harvard Divinity School. University of Berlin. College of Charles. The German American Conference started initially as the German Conference, and then the next step was taken to a German American Conference, and then this year, seeing it develop into more of a transatlantic summit where it's like many nationalities, but really also 50-50 German and mainly American is like a really nice development to witness. How women get in politics, how do they get in policy, how do they bypass barriers? I have only one answer to them, get the men on board. If they are ahead today, we need to get them on board so that we can have the same chance, if not better. Actually, for the first time in 14 years of the German American Conference, we had the first fully female co-chair team. What makes this conference so special is really a dialogue between generations, between current leaders in business, politics and academia, and current students and young professionals. And we are immensely grateful and proud that we managed to bring together a really diverse set of speakers from all ranges of society. I thought it was a great opportunity, actually, uh, to compare notes with uh, American students, with other Americans, about where we are on security policy issues in this very tight and existential time in security policy. Particularly liked about the conference that this year they included military students too, because uh, I believe they contribute a lot to the question of international security, and so we had really exciting debates with them about the current situation in our societies and the challenges that we face. We're having the young military professionals interaction where we have students from the United States Military Academy at West Point, from the United States Naval Academy, and from the University of Hamburg in Germany, uh, having different perspectives from their military experience. I think it's really important for these young military leaders to be exposed to different perspectives from NATO, from Germany, from US and be involved in these conversations so they can prepare for uh, the environments that they'll be leading in the future. It's really, really great that we can show that the transatlantic dialogue transcends politics and economy and has a wide ranging audience. Big kudos to the students who organized all this, with all these inspiring speakers and motivated participants coming together to discuss jointly how to create a positive future. So we have had more than 150 speakers on the ground over a course of three days. More than 60 students and 30 volunteers have been working tirelessly for the last 10 months. A lot of things going on at the same time, but you're just here enjoying the moment and just being very proud of being part of this conference. 
More than 600 participants participate in different formats. So we have keynotes, we have fireside chats, we have panel discussions, we have workshops. You can sign up in small format coffee chats. So it's really a space for dialogue. Well, I say it's a beautiful day <laughs> with beautiful students. I brought many tech startups into the world with many amazing people and I wanted to share this with the future leaders of this world. And this is what it made really amazing to be here. You're going to graduate into a recession. Um, however, some sectors are um, actually booming. Be bold, seek opportunities, and get outside of the world in which you live. Talk to as many people as possible, and especially talk to people whose opinion you don't share, because if you want to change the world, you need different perspectives and opinions. Hearing them how they talked about the interaction with the speakers and how much it meant to them to be able to meet some of their role models or people they had wanted to meet for a really long time and the kind of mentorship and guidance they have received for the professional life, for their interests, the passion, the spark that kind of was given um, forth by the speakers. I actually flew in from Germany just for this. Uh, I took my little brother and I said, Caden, let's go. It was amazing. Yeah, really, it was a really great time here talking yeah. to the speakers. We met being a in lot of people. It was exciting. exciting. And at this conference in 2019, I enjoyed it that much that I decided to join the organizing committee. We need to highlight the network of other Germans who has other perspectives, not even, not always looking into science or only having one focus to talk about. It. Get to know more about the current economic and social environment that we're living in. Uh, football and soccer is one that I am very passionate about. I'm and I'm looking forward for tomorrow at the gala reception. I think you should attend the German-American conference because it's a place to have meaningful debate, to make friends, to have fun, and to leave with inspiring thoughts and impressions for the future. The team from different geography, different backgrounds really comes together here and brings these events together because it matters to them. It matters to us and seeing the teamwork paying off, this is something which is very exciting to me. And I'm so thankful that this is possible this year and we can be back in person after two years of remote conferences due to the global COVID pandemic. This conference represents fully the values of what we work for. Here is a set of wonderful, young, driven, ambitious people who bring together people from across the world to discuss very topical issues. I call Cologne, Germany my home. Robertsburg, Decatur, Illinois. Bonn, Germany, and Heidelberg. And Boston. You are fostering through this event relationships between Germany and the United States, between students from both parts of the Atlantic. I think it's really the way to build the world and to build peace. So I'm very happy to be there for that.
So we had more than 35 different sponsors at this year's conference. And just having experienced the feedback we received, that's just an incredible feeling. And I'm so much looking forward to continue the conversation also for the next year. And I would like to thank everyone who's made this conference possible. It starts with the consulate in Boston, the embassy in Washington, all of our sponsors, the team, and partners, stakeholders, and all the advisors and mentors we've had throughout the last 10 months, without which this conference would not happen at all. It's a really, really large team that's standing behind this, and we're very, very thankful to everyone.